Hey everybody, it's me, Mr. Nezer! And I'm the other guy. Uh, that's Mr. Vischer, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Why wouldn't they know that? But in all seriousness, hello everybody! It's me, Mr. Vischer, as the zucchini just said. Welcome to the character commentary of The Spork in the Stone, and I don't remember this from the original uploading. Yeah, this is the theme song they put in later. I can hardly hear it. Yeah, well, I don't really understand that either. Let's hope that they managed to fix the volume issues, but hey, look at these covers. Wait, those episodes haven't come out yet? Yeah, uh, okay, those last four, those shouldn't exist at this time. Oh, nice lo- that logo shouldn't even exist either. Oh, wait, so, do, what? Yeah, what are those? Oh, from what I heard, those are the weird people who keep taking over the show and end up claiming it as their own, but where are they? I don't know. That looks really familiar, but a beautiful place, might I add, and that looks great. Oh, certainly it does, but, uh, I, from what I've seen, apparently they were always in their living room or something, and now they're in the middle of a lake? Some? Yeah, I don't really think that's important, Mr. Nezer. Anyways, the spork in the stone, based off of, well, gee, I wonder what, it's obviously Star Wars. No, it's Harry Potter. <laughs> Good one. So, what this one is based off of, the sword in the stone, I don't know where to go from here. Well, I guess we can describe why we are doing this instead of the others. Well, Pograve and Larry didn't really have much of a role in this one. Archibald was the narrator and Khalil didn't even show up in this one. So, Archibald and I were gonna do this, but Archibald got busy and wait. I thought you said I was your first choice. Uh, no, I said you might have been my first choice had it not been for Archibald. That makes no sense, and I know for a fact that's not what you said. Ah, oh, forget it. Yep, that's what I thought you would say. Oh, really? How did you think I was going to say that? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, Spork in the Stone, one I'm really excited about. What, what the? Hey! Why did they show a picture of me on there? Do they think I'm helping them or something? Because I've never met any of these people before, not once in my life. Well, Dad, I don't know. Why are you asking me? I don't know. You're the only other one here. Well, aside from Scallion, one. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. Don't mind me, just waxing the soundboards. Why would you wax them? That, never mind. Can't you do that when this is done? Fine, fine. Call me when you're done. Uh, yeah, yeah, I go. I'll go right ahead. So, the... What was I saying? The Spork in the Stone. I was really excited about this one. I mean, sure, I've been a part of every single one as a cardinal rule for some reason, but this is the one up at this point that I had the biggest role in, and I loved it so much. Yeah, you played Merlin. Whirlin! Whirlin! There's a big difference. No magic! Yeah, no magic, no magic, I know. Sheesh, you try to suggest one Harry Potter alive and reload it, and all of a sudden you just get all these people breathing down your neck. No magic allowed, no magic allowed, na 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 Keep in mind, I'm not the one who suggested the drawn together not even reloaded. Well, neither was I. And to be fair, Mr. Lawton was really tired that day. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Why are these guys still here? I don't know. They're probably just wasting time. I mean, come on, this is a half hour show, and thanks to them, it's about 40 minutes. Get out of here! Yeah. Well, at least all the people get to see all these songs and we get to talk about them, too. Oh, yeah, the songs. I forgot. Spiritual Success of the Lie, the Kindly Viking. Per my personal favorite episode. Really? Over Rackshack and Benny? Yeah, I mean, I can't help it. I really like musicals. Man, to be honest, I really wanted to be a part of that, but I wasn't a part of the show at the time. Oh, yeah, that's right. This was your first one, wasn't it? Yeah, and let me tell you, what an experience that was. So, uh, you wanna talk about it? Well, I don't see why not. I mean, this was a pretty big time for me, of course, given my first time. Yeah, so... Okay, let's see- oh! Mr. Nazar? Yes? Then Archibald enters. 
Where are the visuals? Oh no! What? What? What's the matter? Oh, I heard about this from Larry and Archibald. I thought they were kidding. What, kidding? Kidding about what? They were, what they did was they got the audio of the thing and not the rest of it. Not the what? Why? Well, the visuals are really important, so maybe they thought. I don't know, let's try so to ruin this even further? Show. Who are they, DreamWorks? Well, it was really good if we had lots of uh, reviews, we talked with other shows, I don't shows, even know what's happening. Fans. Just, and, oh, what? what? You'll never believe what happened. And where's my stem in that picture? And where am I in that picture? This was taken long before your time. Yeah, it was. By that, I mean about a year. Yeah, I can tell. You all look pretty snazzy. Except for, uh, Laura. She looks a little demented. Jeez, that's a little harsh. I suppose so. What? So, anyways, yeah, going back to my this being my first one. Yes, yes, that was a lot of fun. So, uh, were you nervous at all? Nope, not really. Well, come on, it was your first show. That doesn't mean that I was nervous. Well, even still, I mean, come on. You had to be a little apprehensive about something. No, no, I've been in lots of productions before this. This is just my first VeggieTales one. If anything, I was just ecstatic, not nervous. Well, come on, man! You give us a little something! That's all the little something I have. Oh, man. Well, I can tell you who was nervous for her first one, Eden! Eden? She didn't even act in that first one. Well, yeah, but she was still nervous to show up on camera. What was her next one again? I don't remember. I know she was nervous for that one, too. And then the one after that, and the one after- You know what? She gets nervous a lot. Yeah, I know. I kind of feel bad for her though. She's really nice and cool. Yeah, happy to have her on board. You know who else is? Who? Tim Scallion. Tim Scallion? The, the songwriter for our show? Why that? Oh, you didn't know? There are a couple. They are? How long has this been happening? Uh, around the time, a little bit before a silly sing-along three. How did I not know this? I mean, you're one of the new guys, and you know all about it, and I know nothing about that! Oh, calm down, Mr. Nezzer, you calm down, okay? Look, okay. It's not a real big deal, it's just a little element of their private life, and I probably shouldn't even brought that up, but... Uh, yeah. No, 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 you're not gonna stop right there. Come on, talk a little bit more about that. Well, they're going strong, and, uh... Here you go. To be honest, that's all I really know. Hmm. Way to get our hopes up. Yeah, yeah, sure. Anyways, as this was my first time on here, I didn't know what role I was going to be playing, but I was playing the role of Mr. Fisher. Also known as Archimedes, or if you'd rather, the artist formerly known as Archimedes. Yeah, that's a little too soon. Sorry, sorry. I really liked Prince. He was great. Yeah, Prince was good. Do you ever go to any of his concerts? Well, not exactly. I went to this one tribute band based off of Prince, or the artist formerly known as Prince. Called. It was called The Artist Formerly Known as The Artist Formerly Known as Prince. How was it? And not good. Not good? No, no, not at all. They only did one song, and even then they had to start over a couple times because they didn't even know the lyrics to it. That's what happens when you go to Mad Marv's concert hall. He has a concert hall? What doesn't he have? Fair point, fair point. I went to a sandwich shop the other day. Oh, really? How'd that go? Well, I ordered a meatball marinara. I know what they gave me? Do I want to know? They gave me a jar of mayonnaise with a piece of bread stuck in it. And it cost $20! Jeez. Nope, Did you pay for it? Well, yeah, I had to pay for it. Okay, no returns accepted. But I didn't end up eating it. I just gave it to some weird creepy guy who was sitting outside. I think his name was Bertram. Oh, Bertram, Bertram, Bertram. We got a schedule. Oh, yeah, that guy. The guy with the burger place. Yeah, the guy who sounds really creepy and weird. Paul Grave can do an excellent impression of him, you know? Really? You mean it? Yeah. I mean, have you ever heard of it? So well, I've heard of it, but I haven't heard it. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you think we could call him in here? Uh, Mr. Nezer, this is a character commentary between just you and me. Well, Scallion 1 showed up here earlier. Well, yeah, I know, but... Oh, forget it. Hey, Pa, can you come in here real quick? Oh, come on, Mr. Nezer, please. We need to focus. You know what? Might as well just rest my throat. Come on in, Pa. Hi! How you guys doing? Can you do that Bertram impression you like doing? Oh yeah, you know Blake Tunnel and I go really fall back in the cold. Yeah, can you just do it for us? Hey, kid. Wow. Yeah, fine. Some... Hey kid, bleh, you're the new face around here. You want some mustard? 
<laughs> oh, that was good. You gotta admit, that was pretty darn funny. All right, now we're trying to get this done, all right? Hey, all right. Hey, see you later. I never accept my rock bottom prices. Jeez, we're really far along now. Yeah, I mean, we talked about oh, all over the opening scene. Wait a minute. It shouldn't be here by now. What do you mean? It, it shouldn't be here right now. I mean, what about the song? There, there's an opening song. What, what happened to it? I don't know. It's just, oh no! What? What? What's? Oh no! Now, how are you ruining this? Why does everyone keep asking me that? Okay. Yeah. Another thing that Lara told me, I don't know if Archibald told me this or not, it was a long time back. Well, for what happened, not only did they cut out the visuals, I don't like where this is going, they cut out the music too, and there it is. Uh, even the silly song, especially the silly song. Wow, oh, come on. I mean, is it really that hard? Well, from what I heard, starting at Samson, they started putting him back in, and then at Abram's family, they left it out again, and then for the rest of them, they left him in. Okay, so... Who's in charge of editing these things? It kind of changes up every so often. This one was Mr. Lunt. Well, I gotta have a talk with Mr. Lunt and see why he did this. You want me to call him in? No, 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 no. Two guests is more than enough. Ah, oh, more than enough. What, whatever. Well, um, I mean, come on, this is a character commentary, that not a grammar school. Fine, fine. Now, I really like this, uh, syrup and waffles and superfluous? Superfluous, yes. And of course, with the obligatory, oh, where is my hairbrush thing in there? <laughs> Very happy to put that in there. Did you write this? Well, no, I helped Archibald write this. Oh, you did? Really? Don't me, yeah. Little man. I mean, I had it. I can't help come up with some of the names like Mad Madam Mink or Superfluous, as we just mentioned. I really wish there was more paw on this one. He was really funny. Hanks! Why are you here? I got my soda. Boy, have fun! We will. Thanks. I can't tell what's happening. I really need visuals for this. This is really confusing. This is the place. Already knocks on the door. Just a oh, there's my first scene. Well, I really like this part. Well, of course he did. Out, Thing the, is, though, we, that was real smoke we put in there. Not like any of you can see it. <laughs> Hello there. Well, we what actually did I fill up for? that studio um, room, well, which we I made do? my house, uh, I mean, with uh, smoke. Yes. Very unpleasant. Uh, and especially when we had to do take two of the smoke. Uh, yeah, it took uh, hours uh, to get that one? fumigated. So many <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They're all the same. Uh, yes, come in. Already enters Whirlin's home, which is filled with broken down machines. Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> Ernest P. Whirlin. Yeah. Name I wonder if anyone got that joke. My game. Yeah, the great Ernest. <laughs> A.K.A. Jim Varney. My name's Those of you who don't know him, get out! And by that I mean look him up. Looks around. Yeah, a pretty funny guy. Big product of the 80s. Or it was the 90s. Or 60s. It wasn't the 60s, I can tell you that. Alright, so it wasn't the 60s. It was either 80s or 90s, or maybe even both. All we know is that he, he is resting in peace right now. Now, let's see. Oh god, they, not, they don't only cut out the song, but they get those weird guys to talk about what, what the song should be? Oh, that is just... It's like yes, taking teacher. effort in being lazy. I mean, really, come on. If you're gonna cut out the songs, why even bother having them? I know, right? Still. You know what? I'll do it. Man, Tim Scallion's hard work just went completely to waste. Oh, certainly did. Yeah. And we know all about him. He's, a he's really passionate about his work. Gets really overzealous about a lot of things. Yep. Nice. Luckily, I knew that about him. Okay, we're oh, still on this. Look, really? Come on, Mr. Nezer. Oh, all right, fine. I'll drop it for now. For good, please. All right, sure. Hey, why isn't Nate Rocky doing this? Oh, Nate Rocky, my good friend slash neighbor from childhood. For those of you who don't know, we kind of head a lot of the projects here at Live and Reloaded. The two of us, uh, we write a lot of the episodes, and we also direct them, which uh, Nate Rocky just directed this one. This was the first one he was on board, although he hasn't actually been in an episode yet. Well, he was in the Bean Boozle thing, but well, okay, then again, it doesn't really count as an episode. Exactly. 
Where was I getting at? Oh yeah, why isn't he here? Uh, he's got a very bad cold, actually. Really? Bad? I've never seen him sick before. Yeah, this is like the first cold he's like ever gotten. Throughout every single time I've known him, he's always been healthy and chipper and loving french fries. It's the french fries that'll do it. Those things aren't really good for you. Yeah, but his metabolism rate is amazing. I, I can't okay, believe he doesn't right, gain any weight from all those fries he okay. eats. I mean, that's just Here not healthy, but it's like magic. No magic! Yes. He's, again, oh, he's really? Doing Come doing on, guys! Already <sighs> sticks the pole in the ground, and it goes straight up, and he falls in the mud. It's too bad his body didn't. You know who really wanted to be in this one? Henry the Potato. Henry the Potato? Well, that was fast. You mean the Who's potato the from the Forgive Matic? And the potato from Flibberal Lou? Yep. You can and the guy who really now. likes donuts. Yeah. And I am. Yeah, the, I tried it. whatever I happened to him? I don't know, he just kind of disappeared from the company a while ago, and then around the time of Eddie Woodley, he just kind of came back. And now he's the caterer, but I don't know. He really wanted to be your part in there. Oh, wow, wonderful. So my competition was a potato who doesn't even have any eyes. Wonderful. Well, come on, Andrew's not a bad guy. Yeah, he's just really, really, really weird. Okay, come on now. Remember, there's no such thing as weird, just different. No, there is a such thing as weird, and that is Henry. Henry kind of weirds me out, no offense to Henry. I mean, he's fine and all, but all the talk about donuts and bus timetables and ugh. Yeah, I don't get why. I think it's because his brother, Roderick, he's the he head of his local bus station in Veggie Town. Oh, really? That's him? Yeesh. Apples don't fall far from the tree. Which doesn't really apply here, because that's his brother. Even still. Yeah, and ever since then he's kinda- Ever since he took over the bus station a couple months ago, he's been obsessed with bus times tables. And he still loves the donut thing, too. And he, sh he should open up a donut shop! I suggested that to him, actually. Really? Wh why didn't he do that? I don't know. He said he likes donuts too much to open the donut shop, which could mean a lot of things. Yeah, I guess I can see that. I mean, like, maybe he'll eat them all or something? No, 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 no. The funny thing is, he doesn't actually like eating donuts. He just likes looking at them and smelling them. Okay, that, that is just really, really weird. Especially because he works at the donut stand here at uh, the countertop. Yeah, I, I don't get that either. I mean, he is a donut fanatic, but still, he doesn't like eating them. And funny enough, actually, he's not really a minor, as he said in the forgive matic segment. Really? Hmm. Something's done right, you gotta do it yourself. I did not know that. Artie starts walking out, then he looks at the clock, which reads 10.01. So what's happening oh, now? I'm, I'm late. Wait, uh, oh, uh, he's going lessons. up to the next lesson. What's the next You're lesson again? I don't know, it's actually kind of been a while since oh, I've yeah. seen this one. I've been so hard at work on cute drama. That's, uh... I wrote that one along with Nate. Yeah, I, I know that. You already told me that. And then after that, it's uh, we're working on the Lord of the Beans uh, prequel. After that, the Flobbit? No, actually, calling it Gone and Back Again. Oh, like I think it was There and Back Again or something. I don't know. I haven't seen the Lord of the Rings movies or anything like that. <gasps> what? That, that's this kind of reaction if someone's holding a gun to my head. You haven't seen Lord of the Rings? No, no. I, why? What's the big deal? They just move. Just movies. Just movies? Those movies are amazing! Same with the books! Please tell me you read the books. Can't say I have. <gasps> okay, again, over dramatic reaction here. Come on, man! Lord of the Rings is amazing! I'll take your word for it. No, you don't. Those Lord of the Rings movies are amazing. And, well, the Hobbit movies, uh. They didn't need to be three, I, I can tell you that much. You well, yeah, but because I can have a personally job. bad experience with the Hobbit movies. And Fisher, what might that be? Well, the giant you see, back in, I think it was December or something, I went over to some friend's place and they were going to watch the Hobbit movies. All of them! In one sitting, extended editions. No, you gotta be kidding me. No. And the thing is, though, if you know me, when it's bright, si shiny, and sunny outside with a lot of blue sky, I can't stay inside for very long. I wanna go out and enjoy it. And this was one of the nicest days it happened in a long time because for the last like week and a half, it was all rainy and stormy. For the first time ever, it was sunny. And I was stuck watching a bunch of really boring movies that just dragged on for way too long and had almost Nothing to do with the book.
And, well, didn't you try, like, going to the bathroom? I did. They paused the movies. Even though I told them not to. Sheesh, man. That's rough. You're telling me. Then, after all that, they invited me over the next week to watch the Lord of the Rings once. I told them I'm out of town that week. Luckily for me, I actually was out of town that week, so I wasn't lying to them. Oh, really? Where were you going? Well, I was going to Moose Lake to see my brother. You have a brother. I did not know that. Yeah, Wally P. Nezer. Are, aren't you Wally P. Nezer? Well, I played Wally P. Nezer in the tour that said Christmas, but the real Wally P. Nezer lives over there. Really? So that was based off a real person? Yeah, real person. Huh, the more you know. Isn't it funny how Mad Madam Mink is like the villain, but she doesn't even show up until the last third? Well, yeah, but that yeah. happened in the Disney well, version, too. It was yeah, but, to help you deal with the difficult yeah, but, people. Yeah, and forget it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Just like Would you say this is more based off the Disney version or the Legend? Oh, the Disney version for sure. Satisfied? I mean, the Legend and is just so open and... Eating their nuts. I mean, there's so many interpretations of it that pretty much all of them are entirely like different. Including this You're one. Not giving up. I guess well, so. Gotta know, I once had a oh, and a little bit of foreshadowing. I think also all the time. put this in because now in the, the Disney version, seven. they didn't foreshadow well, anything like about Mad seen. Madam Mim. And that's her name, right? Yeah, I think now. that's it. Okay. There was no foreshadowing oh, with her in there, so we kind of had to put that in here. here? Oh, yeah, makes a little bit more sense. Oh, this is my uncle. Mr. Sir Hector the Cranky. That's right, I'm this boy's owner. And I like how Don't snarky you are in this, too. Don't yeah. Me, you it's a lot of fun snark. to be snarky. I, it's just who I am. Anyway, That's my real personality, too. But I make sure to do it in a really fun way. Never make sure it goes too far. Has it ever went too far for you? Well, no, but there are people I know I needed to be a lot more careful around, like, uh, Junior and Laura, I don't, I just, to be a little extra sure, and especially Eden, she is very sensitive. Uh, she doesn't, like, even if it's like a joke or sarcasm or anything, that can really hurt her feelings. She's a really sensitive girl. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Hey, anyone else? Uh, well, when uh, Phil Anderson was working with us, I tried really hard to make him laugh with this, but I don't know. I've never seen him smile. I've seen him scream before in the Bean Boozle thing, but uh, yeah, you got a point. I've never seen him smile once. Can't believe we signed him back for the new Larry Boy thing. Yep, but, but remember what Bob said. We're not supposed to talk about that one. Well, yeah, I mean, it's the next live and order move. No, 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 no. That gives away way well, too much. All I said was this move the 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 giving away way too much here. That's not coming out till like December or something. Can, uh, well, right, fine. They just need to know that. Uh, uh, they can't even know that it's a no. They can't know about that. One hundred bottles of milk on the wall. Oh, I love this part. Take yeah, down, this part is hilarious. It really is. Especially this part right here. This part is great. <laughs> you guys just sound so, like, zombified. It's hilarious. Yeah. How many takes do we have to do with this again? I think it was like seven. Seven takes of that, and each time we were getting so tired of it, and eventually we were actually legitimately tired. And then funny enough, Bob, who was directing this, said, no, no, you gotta be more tired. And I said, we're already so tired, we're about to fall over. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bob doesn't direct that much anymore, does he? No, he's trying to be more in the episodes, for real, actually. Funny enough, it actually was two hours. No, it was like three, actually. Three? Time flies when you're watching people suffer. That's not a really good phrase. Yeah, it's a little messed up, I suppose. Well, I did have something all set off, but please... Looks like it's time for the yeah, silly song, right. what is Lama it? Palooka. Silly song, Lama and yeah, of course, That's they so skip it. Back to his chair. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. Well, that was hilarious. It was Archibald lip-syncing to one of the craziest silly songs of them all. Personally, up until this point, it was my favorite. Hey! I've been fancy glasses and two tales of two cities! 
Yeah, yeah, I know. Sure through the market. Ouch! Okay, look, well, that was my been... second favorite. There was only Fine. three. And it's not I really, no, oh, never mind. Now. Sorry, Artie, you still have a lot I'm gonna to take learn. it easy, man. No, I, I want to be king now. Artie, Will, and Mr. Fisher look over to syrup and waffles and superfluous. So Bob was directing this and he was acting in it? Yeah. Just one it took a lot of work, but then we can you know what? He was able to do it and we pulled yeah, it off well and. Funny enough, actually, oh, what was it? There was something I was going to remember about the release date of this. Was it that it was in July? Well, kind of. Let's see, what was it again? Come on, man, spit it out. I'm trying to remember. Let's see, what was it? Oh, yeah, this was released exactly three months after Eddie Woodley, the artist who never give up. Oh, first episode. Well, my first episode, technically. Yeah. Tell you what, I remember they're trying to replace everybody with like those weird creepy actors. Oh, you know, like you mean Blob and Scary, and then uh, Akibald. Yeah, they were really weird. And of course that Ikabiza guy. Ugh, Ikabiza. That guy is insane. Insane. What, what do you mean? Remember, he's trying to take down a whole corporation. He says that our thing needs to be more lucrative, and he wants to control it. So he's trying to shut us down. Mr. He's like a super villain. He actually kind of is. It's so almost scary. Yeah. I really hope that guy doesn't come across our path again. Again, yeah. I mean, we kind of ran into him once, and that was one of the worst times of my life. Can't argue with that. Are you sees a trail of bottle caps with a sticky note on the first one reading, "Please follow this trail." Um. All right then. Already follows the bottle caps into a decrepit shack. Ooh, Hello. man, I remember this. Hello. So Hello. many Hello. dismal Hello. forebodings Hello. around. Too bad we can't see ah. it. Yeah, Hello. no. I am pleased to have a visitor. Oh, it's been so long. Would you care for some... Wasn't that from Courage the Cowardly Dog or something? I don't know, it's been what? years. <gasps> you haven't seen... Not that oh, I haven't no. seen it, it's that I haven't seen it in a long time. I mean, I have a lot to do. Okay, true. Pepper and iodine. Ew, peppers, gross. Suit yourself. I like that Not joke. That was pretty funny. Definitely good. was. The man does Mad Madam Ming not have any sort of good manners? Yeah, Mad really so disgusting, like if you ask me. Put some of it in the soup. It's like there's a party in my mouth. I have and heard that phrase so you? much lately, but I don't know why. It's like the classic bad yourself. slogan I for something. Mad Ming. It really is. <laughs> And I like it. It's hilarious. Okay. It really is. We gotta use oh, that I know more. Who you are, RT. You do. Oh, I've seen you. I've seen you work. Creepy. Test Warland. And I see that you want to be king. <laughs> you don't have a chance. Who was she again? That was oh, Miss Agmitha. We haven't used her in so long. Queen. Well, actually, Would no. We used know, that. We, didn't we use her in uh, Two Tales? Yeah, she played Mrs. Lot. That was pretty, uh, interesting to have her on, but she kind of disappeared lately. Well, granted, we know that she's in Barbados right now, but she's just so busy. What, where is she again? She's on sabbatical. Yeah, but what, why? I don't know. She hasn't really done all that much. But she should be coming back at some point. Gee, really? Never would have guessed. a little harder. Well, look who's talking. You're the boy who wanted to give up after a couple of seconds. Well, yeah. Let me guess, Voldemort's on the back of her oh, head. Yeah, no, that would've been kinda cool. No magic! Seriously! God, I mean, the joke's really old at this point. Alright, fine. Bible man wants your donut! Really? Good <sighs> food. Okay, to be fair, that joke can't really get old, because it's so true. Has that ever happened to you? Well, no, but I've seen it happen. Really, you saw it happen. Mr. Lump and I were just kind of hanging out. I think we just finished the blessed gift. We were just going out for a little bit of a Christmas get-together, as we normally do, eating donuts. We were just walking over by the bayside, and all of a sudden, we hear this thumpity-thump-thump-thump coming in the sand. Thumpity-thump-thump, look at Frosty go. Not exactly. We just thought it was some sort of a beach jog or something, and sure enough, it was. It was just, uh, what was his name again, uh, who? It was John, John Claude. Wow, you forgot John Claude's name. Yeah, give me a break, man. Anyways, we were just kind of wonder, just kind of 
watching him go by, and all of a sudden, we hear a bigger thump, Eddie, thump, 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 and it was Philippe. But then we heard an even bigger one. Please tell me this isn't Christophe. It's not. Bible Man came up and said, Bible Man wants your donut, and then takes Mr. Lent's donut, eats it, and says, Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get to business. Why not your donut? I already ate mine. For some reason, I eat my food a lot faster than other people. That's what happens when you don't chew. I chew. Just not all that much. It's not really good for you, you know? Hey, my metabolism is really good. Yeah, you and Nate Rocky both. Maybe you guys should enter a fry eating contest. As long as it's not the Baconator fries. Why, you don't like bacon fries? Bacon fries are delicious. Bacon's the best. Well, bacon is the best. Um, it's just that lately I've been on this real big health food now, kick. Really, health food kick. To be destroyed you. By my Why do you say like robot. that? Well, normally you're the guy who just kind of lives for the moment and lives on the edge. I mean, granted, you're pretty fit, I must say. Well, thank you. Yeah. But you're normally kind of the impulsive, sporadic type. I can't imagine you on a health food kick. Well, just kind of a new thing I'm trying out. I hope it works. Um, can't really say. I just found out about it. What are we gonna do? We gotta get That was funny. It was. That's enough of that. What we need is a plan. Does anyone have one? I think I've got one. Wait here, distractor. How are we gonna do that? Um, you could sing a song. Oh, yeah, irony, irony God, really is cool. cool. Right, it runs into the bushes. Most song, what's certainly. That? another song that's in vain. Oh, look, Olaf. Artie comes back carrying a pole. You know what really Artie, stinks what, about what this, though? I'm uh, about what? Real life. About not getting any of the songs? These ones help you further the plot, so... I laugh at and they also makes it a lot longer, Artie and... Jeez. Yeah, I, I guess it... Lesson one. Yeah. Physics! They really should have put that in the these in there. I mean, I don't get why. Who, when I find out who these guys are, I have to ask them. Artie sees a squirrel in a tree. He looks at Artie and happily runs over to him. Hey there, little guy. No, I don't think the squirrel really would remember you, Artie. I mean, squirrels don't have that great of memories. You mean like a goldfish? Well, no, no. Actually, as it turns out, goldfish actually have longer memories than people give them credit for. It's their attention spans that are very short. And only you yeah, would know I that. Mean, no, no, not not just me. I mean, no. I'm okay. Gotta oh, say, we do need to have more junior-based ones because people really love one Junior. Who wouldn't? Junior's one awesome. One yeah, Junior's a great guy, but I mean, still, why? We need to have more of him in there. I mean, let's see. What even was the last Junior-based one? Uh, I don't. It might have been this one, actually. Really? No, 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 no. It can't be. I think it was, man. Really? I mean, this might have been the only junior based one in the whole thing. I think you've learned enough. You know what? You are right. This is the only junior based one. Man, people must be really angry at us. You know, it wouldn't really be all that surprised. You gotta have more. Like, remember that James and the Giant Peach one that we were thinking about? Yeah, but didn't we end up doing the Chuck of the Fantastic Factory one instead? Well, not instead. I mean, we're, it's still up in the air as to whether or not we're gonna do it. Then again, it might be one of those ones that we end up having to shut down, like the Pulp Town one. I can't believe you really want to do Pulp Town. No, I didn't really want to do it. I was just curious. First Harry Potter and then Pulp Town. What's next? Fat Albert? Okay, Fat Albert wouldn't really be all that bad. Okay, yeah, but what about the controversy? No, 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 no. We're not mentioning that either. We want to keep this as timely and family-friendly as we can. Fair enough. Answer Harvey that not nearly as brave as Ron the Brave, but still not quite as cowardly as... And that name was just golden. And first up, Sir Tom the something. Tom walks up to the spork. Yay, go Tom! Yay, yay! Why did he fade out like that? Because no one else was cheering for him because nobody really likes him. Oh, well I like Tom, I like Paul. Well, yeah, but still, that doesn't mean that their characters do. Paul pulls up the spork, then falls to the ground and walks off. Next. Ooh, Artie. Artie. He's over there, wherever he is. It's your time to shine. The more I look at this, the more just I'm demanding the visuals. This is just really disappointing. He'll never do it. I don't believe in him at all. The spork flies out of the stone with already looking at it. Yeah, see, that would have been great to watch, but 
No, we're having to stare at Archibald and Jimmy and Jerry and you. What's wrong with me? Nothing, nothing's wrong with you. I thought so. We also need more of the cogni peas. The cogni peas are golden. We have to keep them. Actually, I think I'm gonna start going by Arthur now. Uh, it, it sounds a bit more grown up. I don't know, I always thought Walt was kind of becoming of him. Yeah, don't call Junior that either, because... Yeah, I don't think he really liked that either. I don't think he did either. Yeah, listen to the Dursleys. No, I... Just as soon as you clean all the palace's bathrooms with these toothbrushes. I don't really know what else to say about this one. It just kind of speaks for itself. And that was the best song in the whole one. Why did you cut that one out? Remember, they just like being lazy and making people angry. Even still, it's not a good enough reason. Well, it's been two months since we last talked. How's everything been? It's been amazing. I had the guards go find Madame Mad Mink and throw Ooh, the spooky darkness. darkness. Keep in mind, back in the medieval times, dark usually I meant also well, spider infested um, and very, very dirty. And then you would also get very, very sick. Fair point. One thing I, I mean, I love my character. I thought he was a little too dumb in this version. Well, he's supposed to be eccentric, yeah, but not stupid. I'm not stupid. Yeah, well, there's no such thing as okay. Yes, there is no such thing as stupid. But even still, it's just a character. As long as people know that's not the real you. Yeah, but even still, he's supposed to be this great mastermind, and even then, he just kind of seems a little hollow-headed. Okay, fair point. Counterpoint. It's funny. Fair point. Not like the lesson we had with this one too. It turned out really well, didn't it? Oh, most certainly there did. You go. I hope you enjoyed it, Oh, Barbara, you're here. I had so Wasn't this the last one of the Christian Entertainment trade show? Yeah, it was. Well, no. Funny enough, Bob and Larry, uh, they didn't end up going to the next one. Really, they didn't? Why not? I don't know. I mean, I know they were invited, but they just didn't go. I think it was uh, the Littlest King or something. Oh, Palmy! Oh yeah, Palmy! Oh man, that guy is great. One of the most popular people in Veggie Town. He doesn't even live in Veggie Town. Where does he live again? I think he lives in Kingston, Jamaica. I'm not entirely sure. I never really asked him. But he's a great guy. Oh, most certainly. Okay, guys, strike this set. Jean Claude Philippe start taking down the set. No, no, push it. Yeah, no, Lyle the, this was definitely reminiscent of Lyle the Kindly Viking, wasn't it? Oh, oh okay. yeah. This one was it's definitely in reference to that one. Today. And also had a little bit of other episodes here and there. Yeah, one of the things we're going for is having a lot of reference to the good old days. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, why wouldn't we do that? I don't know. Copyright? Really? Why would we copyright claim ourselves? No, no, no. DreamWorks. They copyright claim Samson the Great for no reason. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. They don't even own this stuff. They don't own anything about it. Yeah, I mean, come on. DreamWorks owning VeggieTales, that's just not right. Yeah, Like the lesson in us, too. But mere talk only tends to poverty. Proverbs 14.23 so I think that's kind of it. I mean, we, we got exactly a minute left. Do you have anything else to say to them out there? Pitch a forge. 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 He became the king of England. Well, okay then. I don't really know what to say to that, mostly because I don't really know what that means. Yeah, a lot of people don't. I'm not even sure I really do know. All right then. Well, uh. You name it. I think that's pretty much it at this point, isn't it? I think so. Well, we got about, let's see, exactly 20 seconds left. Yeah, Bob said it himself. Well, guys, I'm Mr. Nazar, and I am... What's my name again? Mr. Bishop. Yeah, I know, it's just a joke. Alright, guys, thanks for listening to us. Thank you for also bearing with us, too, because we kind of went off topic. Not as much as the other people did. Oh well, thanks for watching everybody, it's been a total blast, and we'll see you next time, but it probably won't be us.